Good morning, toy fans. Kyle here, and it is July 18th, which means it is preview night at Comic-Con. Now, every year I go to Comic-Con, this is my seventh year, every year I come back and I'm like, wait, I was just there for five days, why didn't I film anything? Because if you haven't ever been to Comic-Con, you know a lot of stuff happens, especially when you're there for five days. So I'm going to do my best to sort of document this journey. It's likely... Uh, I'm not certain, but likely this is going to be my last Comic-Con. So, just join me on this journey, uh, and it's about 7.30 a.m., and I've done nothing, almost nothing, to get ready. So, let's, um, let's do some last-minute prep, right? Now, it's always important to make sure you've got all your clothes handy. Um, most important thing, though, when you're going to Comic-Con is, of course, the graphic tees. If you're not repping a graphic tee, what are you doing there? So I've got one graphic D. Ah, ah, ah. Two graphic D. Which one is this? Which one is this? Which one is this? Oh, probably the most important one, of course. Two graphic D. Ah, ah, ah. And then I got Godzilla, and I believe this is Megatron. Um, and then, of course, you need to also sort the non graphic T's. I only have one. The Chonis, Los Chonis. And, of course, I have one sock. So I'm probably going to have to do a little bit of laundry, I've actually noticed. Um, uh, what else did I pack? This, for obvious reasons. I think I'm going to bring my old vintage Power Morphicon lanyard from 2012. Uh, you've got the phone charging, you've got the pad charging, you've got your um, anchor wireless charger, which is, has four button light light up things this should last me the whole weekend red and black if you notice I like red and black all my all my stuff matches red and black red and black red and black Oof. red and black <laughs> red and black um, you've got all the chargers the SD cards the video games the card readers the battery camera batteries this of course an anchor uh, keyboard for that pad that's all I'm really packing. I do need to go to the store to pick up some last minute essentials and then I will be ready to hit up San Diego. Goku, and Master Roshi. That's pretty cool. All right, and we are uh, finally checked into the room. By we, I mean just me. Uh, but I am sharing it with a couple people, and I'm not going to film any of their stuff or anything. But I just want to do a tour of the room because this room is actually pretty nifty. Uh, take a look. So we got this little couch. I'm assuming this is probably where I'm going to be sleeping. That's my bag. And then over here, we've got this balcony. Check this out. You have to lift up to open it. How is this thing even? And then, oh wait, it lifts up. Then I think you pull this. Pull this open. And there's a lot of stuff on the ground, but I'm just gonna pretend that stuff isn't there. And then now we have this view of the city. Look at that. So you've got the Jack Ryan offside right over there. Trolley's right there. You got whatever's happening over there. And this gorgeous view. This is gorgeous view of the city of San Diego. I think if you wanted to, you could probably peek over. See more of it. Uh, there and there's the bay. So, uh, all in all, really not a bad dig. <laughs> Alright, so we already encountered our first, our first 
big dilemma. Wait, I don't know where the light switch is. Where's the light switch? Back here? Back here? No. That is an ironing thingy. This is a. This is just this. Let's see, you can't push those. Those are the grounds. Um, not in here, not in here, not in here. Wait. <gasps> Wait, no. There's nothing on that. Fire, door, door. Obviously not in the shower. There is no light switch. Maybe if I shut the door, it's one of those light switches that does it automatically. Nope. I am just in here in the dark. <laughs> um, wait, wait. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, why are they outside? Fuck me, right? yourself in order to get into Comic-Con before you really freak out of your shell. So far in terms of the money that I've spent, I've been able to get both of the Psycho Rangers. Hiding them both down there. Uh, just on preview night, which is pretty good. I'm thinking about going back down to Bluefin and picking up that Voltron. There wasn't a line for it. I do love Minipla and I do love Voltron and I, you know, that's how I work. Uh, I think that'll be it in terms of preview night. Again, not a lot of happening, just a lot of standing in line. This is kind of the night where people just buy exclusives. So there's a lot of running around, a lot of craziness, as you can see. Uh, and I'll go over kind of my haul when I get back to my room. But I think, honestly, that's almost it for today. It's just getting warmed up, getting revved back up into Comic-Con. So, there's a giant Shenron right in front of me. Pretty cool. Uh, but I think tomorrow I'll get the, the SH figure arts. And tomorrow will be another adventure, definitely. It's going to get pretty interesting, especially in the morning. So do stay tuned. Like this video, hit that subscribe button. Thank you for joining me on preview night day one of San Diego, well, day zero, San Diego Comic Con.
and I'll see you all tomorrow in the next video. Good morning and welcome to day one, technically, uh, yesterday was day zero, so this is day one of San Diego Comic Con. It is 5.45 in the morning, way earlier than I'd ever be used to being up. Um, I'm, I, yeah, it's too early. Um, but today we have an exciting day. We are going to check out the Hasbro Media Breakfast, which I am excited about, not only because of Power Rangers, but because it'll probably be the only full meal that I'll get this entire weekend. Uh, and then we're gonna try and get Tone Conan tickets so I may show you a little bit of the Conan taping, um, and then just a lot of walking around, fun stuff like that, and then maybe we'll head up San Diego afterwards. Uh, but I wanted to show you this view. Take a look at this, and I'm going to have to turn off my light in order for you to truly appreciate this. I gotta admit, that's not a bad view to wake up for every morning. Good morning, San Diego. Alright, so now the time has come. We are gonna head down to the Hasbro breakfast. Uh, I believe I'm ready. <laughs> Hopefully they let me in with this thing wearing it. Uh, I don't know if they will. That'll be kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, let's go. Let's do this. Let's meet some people. Well, that was kind of an interesting morning. Um, so I did the Hasbro breakfast. That was fine and dandy. There weren't any Power Ranger toys, obviously. You probably know that by now. But they did have the Beast Morphers there hanging out, uh, taking pictures with people. Uh, that was cool. And then I had to leave a little early. I didn't have a chance to meet up with any of the people that I wanted to meet up with because I had to get this, which was a wristband in order to attend the 4 o'clock taping of Conan, 
which is something I like to do every year. This year I didn't get tickets, but someone was so nice and was like, hey, I have an extra ticket, do you want to come? And I jumped on <laughs> right away. Um, but I felt really sick after the breakfast, like they had poisoned me. So while I was rushing over to the Spreckles Theater, which is where they're filming Conan, uh, I, I'm pretty sure I, I was leaking down one of my legs. <laughs> oh, I might cut that out, but probably not. Uh, it wasn't pretty, and I had to rush into a corner bakery and just <laughs> explode out. Um, yeah. Anyway, now I believe Jason David Frank is doing a signing at the Hasbro booth in about 20 minutes. I'm probably not going to make it to that. I'm going to try. If not, I'll at least try and get some footage. Uh, he was at the Hasbro breakfast, but I didn't want to film him because he's there just to mingle with people. He's not there to be a fan or, an, or, or you know. He's there just to mingle with with media and to talk and to hang out and I wanted to be somewhat professional and Brennan Mejia was there as well who's a super cool dude uh, we're gonna check it out and we'll see what happens so I'm gonna try and, and try and be a little more talkity this time because I'm not very talkity I need to be more talkity is that a word is talkity a word can you tell me if, if talkity is a word um, let's go and uh, let's have another fun day at, at uh, San Diego comic-con just walked the floor for like two or three hours. Nothing really happened. I didn't do anything. Um, each booth that I would hit, they would sell out of something that I want. And then I'd go to another booth. Oh, sorry, we're sold out. Oh, we're going to another booth. Oh, sorry, it's sold out. So I wasn't very successful. <laughs> I actually did end up getting this, which is the uh, metallic Funko Pop Megazord, which is something I wanted. I got it for 30 which is about retail, but not bad. Um, but now I'm going to head up. I'm going to hit up the Dragon Ball Tour. Hit up that DB event. I am a big Dragon Ball fan, so I can't wait to check this out and show you guys. And take a look at this view. Look at that. Look at all that affluence.
every year after you get your pop, there's always a huge crowd surrounding the theater. People with just like 20s, $100 bills in their hands trying to buy those pops off you. Let's take a look. It is kind of a quick way to make a quick bill, but that's not how I roll. And I think that's going to conclude my look at day one of Comic-Con. Today was, in fact, pretty interesting. The show floor within the last hour was so clear. Uh, it was nice, and I was able to pick up a lot of the exclusives that I had been wanting, uh, such as the bait exclusive black and gold Alpha 5, um, the SH Figure Arts Rangers, the Green Ranger and the Red Ranger, um, what else, what else, what else? Uh, I went, I was able to go into the Hasbro booth, literally, I walked by, and they said, come on in, come on in, I walked in, and then they're like, the booth is done for the day, no more, uh, and I was able to get those, I was able to pick some things up for friends, so overall, it was a pretty, uh, pretty successful day, um, if you can't tell, I, I, I may have spent a little too much, but, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of what you do at Comic-Con, so, Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more Comic-Con. Uh, we, we've still only done one day. I'm already completely exhausted from preview night and day one. Um, and it, it's just crazy to think that there's still three more days of this madness. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to get myself a good night rest. And I will see you all in the morning for another exciting Comic-Con adventure. Good morning, and today is day two, but it's really day three. Uh, I don't know what day it is anymore. Uh, these days are all a blur. It's crazy to think I still have three more days of Comic-Con left, uh, and today is going to get pretty intense. Um, I don't know why it's going to get intense, because I have absolutely no plans. I'm probably just going to walk in circles all day, because that's kind of what I've been doing. I know I have a Disney panel that I would like to attend uh, at four-ish. Uh, that's Mickey Mouse's 90th anniversary. I'm a big Disney nerd, if you don't know that. Um, also, also, I'm going to try and get the um, the Dragon Ball figure arts. I have not gotten those yet, and that's something that is pretty high on my list. I do like Dragon Ball figure arts. That's something that I have started collecting, even though it's not something I generally cover usually. But I'm going to be covering those booths. I'm going to be posting videos. That they're probably already up at this point of all of the, the figure arts displays from Tamashii Nations, things like that. Uh, and then, 
I'm just gonna walk around the floor, see if I can find any weirdness, but apart from that, yeah, not a lot of weirdness this year. This Comic-Con kind of seems a little, a little different than usual. Uh, anyway, uh, that's it for this. I will see you all in a few moments as we descend and try and enter into the convention center. exclusives. I got everything I want. One of the reasons why my coverage hasn't been really all that great uh, the past two days is because I've been trying to get into that Tamashii Nations booth. Um, I don't want to get super into details, but because if you go back to one of my videos, I talked a little bit about the Toys R Us project I did for Bluefin and Tamashii Nations right before Toys R Us closed. So they had been telling me, one of the representatives or employee, friend of mine, has been saying, oh yeah, we'll help you get in the booth, just don't worry about it because of the project that you did. Oh, sorry. And also no one pays attention to where they're going. <laughs> uh, because of the project that you did, we'll help you get the exclusives this year. And the past two days I've been going back and forth between booth, between the Dragon Ball tour and the back of the Marriott, between the other Bluefin booth, back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, kind of being given the runaround for almost two days. It was about a day and a half. Just trying to get the exclusives that I wanted. And finally that came to a head and I finally was able to get what I wanted. So now I'm able to show you a bit more of the convention and the people. So this is the bait booth. I was able to get the Alpha 5 exclusive that I wanted yesterday. But a buzzing question I've had in my head is if I come to the bait booth multiple times, would that make me a master baiter? Hmm. She didn't 
want me, she didn't want me touching the booty. Oops. No touching the booty at Comic Con. And if it's not hentai, like at the other booth, it's just regular anime. Mr. Zed! Mr. Zed! Oh wait, not yet. We're not ready. Just wanna get one photo of Mr. Zed. Mr. Zed! Mr. Zed, you're famous. Do your best pose. Bringing peace throughout the galaxy. Excellent. Thank you. We did it. Mission accomplished. I got that one photo. I said that the picture of Lord Zed to Josh. His response was aptly Jolie Fuck. Wait, day three? Day four? I think it's day four. I don't even know anymore. The days are kind of blurring. 
Uh, today, primarily, my focus is going to be getting video footage of the booths. I already posted a couple videos on my channel. Uh, and they're, doing, they're not doing that great, but whatever. Um, I think I'm just going to post the rest when I get home so I can polish them up a little bit more because I'm editing them and uploading them from the iPad, which doesn't usually always have the best results. Uh, so that's my plan. I'm just going to film today. If I see anything interesting, I'm going to turn on the camera. It's kind of hard. You almost always have to have this camera rolling in order to see something interesting or funny. So I'm going to do my best shot, give you a little commentary. We'll see. Apologize for no outro at the last video, but we'll again, we'll see what happens. And uh, take a look at this view again. Look at all those people down there. They're in lines for things. Over there, there's more lines for things. All right, let's hit the floor. So I've had no luck lately, but I'm just gonna make a walk next to the Blizzard booth. Let's see what's going on. I'm assuming I'm not gonna be able to get anywhere near it. exclusives most likely the pop common misconception that Saturday is the craziest day at Comic-Con. Oh, the lines are insane, but it's actually, that's not the case. You see, behind me is the Entertainment Earth booth, which currently has no line, and I believe these Psycho Silver Rangers are still very readily available here. You can just walk up, maybe wait five minutes, and purchase them. example of that is the Hasbro booth, which is currently open. Looks like most everything is still in stock. No ticket required. You just walk right in and buy the exclusives that you want. So again, Saturday, I guess it's a day where people just want to fight, fight through crowds. It's a panel day. And usually most people who want exclusives already have everything they want at this point and are already trying to sell them to get rid of them. <laughs> oh yeah, have you seen this?
like that, it is secured. Uh, I did get two. I'm not going to resell it. Oh, that's not a very flattering angle. I mean, I'm getting choked by my own strap. Literally, this is all the straps I have. Uh, <laughs> uh, I did get two. Another one was for my friend Tyler. I'm not going to resell them. Don't worry. I don't resell exclusives. Uh, I have sold Comic-Con exclusives when I'm usually broke, which does happen quite a bit. Um, but I'm not the type of person to buy 14 of an exclusive and then sell it right away, right away, right away. Um, that's just not how I roll, like I said. Uh, anyway, today, for the most part, you know, apart from the Blizzard exclusive, the, the pops, which I wanted, uh, and now I actually have to buy a lot more in order to get that collection going, uh, today was mostly going to be an off-site day. Then I'll kind of hit the show floor again and start kind of doing my my, my own shopping. Oh, geez, why am, I'm still talking and I'm still I'm, just, I'm literally trapped right now in in um, these. I also wanted to get a lot of video today as well, so it's just gonna be a video like actual video for my channel, not vlogging video. So it's just gonna be uh, offsite vlog, uh, and then Sunday will just be shopping day really. And just a little bunch of things here or there. I'm trying to get as much video as I can this year. Because last year I didn't really post that many videos. So you know how it goes. Uh, anyway, we're going to... So Nintendo does all these really cool photo ops right here behind me. switch food. But that's not even the coolest thing that's happening at this hotel. Check this out. The bar's open early. The best line so far. So, um, plans have changed just a bit. I think the goal for today has gone from off-sites to just being drunk all day. Which is usually not a bad plan. And look, Pikachu's right over there. Hey, you Pikachu. Dang it, just like the Nintendo 64 game, you don't know what I'm saying. Sorry, Pikachu. Sorry. Oh, it's a little stronger than I was expecting it to be, which is good. This is this is this is just what it's like in my hotel. Now this is a Starbucks. I'm pretty sure they don't serve booze there. What about this place? Eat, drink, go. Exchange Pantry. Marina Kitchen Modern Comfort. There's a lot of people sitting over here. There might be a bar in this area. So yeah, I wasn't going to stand in that line. Uh, I was for a sit-down restaurant. I heard there is a tequila bar out here. Look, see, look. Right there. So we gotta head in this direction. I think I found it. Barbecue? BBQ? This is exciting. Exploring new things. And there's people standing. I'm assuming that's a line to be seated. Wow, this place is popping. So, my camera battery died. You missed basically my entire Comic-Con day right when I started getting drunk. But look who I found. Hey, what's up, big kids? We're hungry. <laughs> we don't know where we're going. We're actually about to go just drink out of the pool like a watering hole because we have no Green clue. is the best uh, thing to whet your appetite, literally. <laughs> Pretty much. Yes. But we're actually looking for the tequila bar and grill here at the Marriott. We don't know, uh, uh, I think... I don't think that's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're, uh... Yeah. 
we're so hungry we don't know where to go and we're going there for food not tequila because the last thing we need is tequila <laughs> we'll be like some well just Sean yeah just Sean. maybe me <laughs> I'll give you some tequila but I, I'm okay I need just coffee should also be uh, noted that we're both kind of socially awkward guys me more so so yeah asking for directions is difficult I know <laughs> Yes, it is for men. That's why I'm <laughs> It's true. Check it out. So, in honor of Saturday, I do have to rep my two Nami shirt, and I've got my Tom pin. I'm like, oh, that's the rest. Yeah. Oh my God, Woo! we found an RKP too. Maybe he can help us with directions to the tequila bar and grill. Oh, there's a mouse tried. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> Where is there a Wookiee nearby? Right there? Yeah, I can't see tequila 
bar and grill. Peace. So let's uh, find. All right, now we have to find seating. Oh. That was easy. <laughs> so we finally have our food. Hell yeah! I got the carne asada fries. You got the taco, taco salad. salad. His drink looks delicious. Fresca, fresca. <laughs> and then I have this. It's something. Alcohol on it. Time to chow down. Uh, all right. So we're done with our dinner. Oh yeah. I think we're zombies right now. <laughs> what a moment there, Sean. I know, right? Oh yeah. It's so hard <laughs> to say goodbye. <laughs> Oh. So it was nice seeing you, Sean. Nice seeing you too, Kyle. Oh, yeah. oh great talking to you, man. See, we're, we're actually shaking hands. Yeah, like gentlemen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have a good one. Make sure you keep subscribing to this guy because he is awesome. Yes, and to the one guy that dislikes this video, yes, you can go ahead and dislike it right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have a good night, you awesome. guys. Yeah, I'll see you at Power Morphicon. See you at Power Morphicon. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Kyle. I'll see you. <laughs> see you. <laughs> Alrighty, so it is day, the last day of Comic Con. Um, this is probably going to be the last time I get to enjoy this beautiful view. Or the harbor over there. Or the city in that direction and the convention center, which is just right back there. Uh, not too much planned for today. I do want to check out the XF, X, FX Abition thing on the bayfront right in front of the Hilton. And then after that, I'm just going to do some final sweep of the show floor. Maybe buy a thing or two. Kind of leaning towards getting the Soul Trigger from Dragon's Arrow. We'll see. Um, but yeah, let's just take a final final moment to enjoy this last view. Enjoy these uh, last few hours of Comic-Con, even though the day hasn't started yet. It's going to be over before you know it. I'm actually going to be leaving a little early as well. Probably about 3 o'clock. Look at these people. It's Comic Con attendees, and that there's more of them. More of them over there. I have consolidated everything into two bags, thankfully, which is kind of the tricky part about the last day of Comic Con. And also, I now must. Say goodbye to my dearest bed. This is the main bed. This is the bed that I slept on. <laughs> this can just probably go somewhere over there. This we're gonna throw. I'm doing channeling my inner Tommy. We lift this up and watch it just slides under. Just like that. Bye, bed. It's been real. So long, angry traffic. So long, random Hulu sign. So long, never-ending Jack Ryan line. So long, gorgeous San Diego skyline. So long, messy hotel room. So long, Comic-Con exclusives. Being walked off by a stranger. I'm sure you're in good hands. So long, Piccolo. This reminds me of the Hamilton song. One last time Relax, have a drink with me One last time We're gonna try to say goodbye Anyway, we're in. So Comic Con is the only convention that I've ever been to where they'll have queue lines directly in the middle of the aisles. Like you hear about all the crushes that happen on the show floor. 
and they still manage to do queuing right in the middle of the aisle. But it kind of works for two-way traffic. It's interesting. A lot of very unique things here. And with that, it looks like Comic-Con is coming to a close. So goodbye Voltron, who just greeted me every time I've entered the exhibit hall. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this series. Be sure to check, hit that like button, and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next video. I'm totally blocking people. So I'm going to hide with the Gundam Build Fighters.